Privateering is an ancient Centran seafaring tradition dating back centuries, which recently saw a resurgence during the Frontier War as a means of mitigating the CDF's limited supply of ships until wartime ship production could reach its peak. In post-war Tantalus, privateering continues, but is now targeted towards pirates and other criminals rather than towards a hostile state. A licensed, independent privateer makes use of their own ship and crew, does not receive orders from assembly officials, and is not considered a legitimate representative of the assembly in their actions. In simple terms, they are given free reign to attack and seize hostile vessels, whereupon they may return the captured vessels to a privateer auction house and an assembly port, to be sold to the state as salvage, or as a prize of war for significant amounts of money which is then split between the state, the auctioneer, the privateer captain, and their crew. Given that a privateer must maintain their own ship and keep it supplied with fuel, food, and ammunition, the overheads involved in privateering are vast, but so too are the potential earnings. This makes for a precarious career, where more than one or two unsuccessful voyages that claim no prizes but expend fuel and ammo could quickly lead to financial ruin. Conversely, a particularly skilled or lucky privateer, who claims numerous prizes, can become extraordinarily wealthy, especially if they maintain as small a crew as possible to minimize the small number of shares in the prize money. But this luck can turn just as quickly, and even the most successful privateers are never more than a few mistakes away from destitution. Most privateer vessels were themselves taken as prizes, with the privateers who claimed them choosing to take them as their new command in the hopes it will leave them better equipped to take more prizes in the future. Given the prevalence of privateering during the Frontier War, a great many privateer vessels in post-war Tantalus are Union-built former warships, most often outriders like the Indria class. Many others are converted security and pursuit craft, Mauritian-built gunships designed for use by private military companies, or simply civilian utility vessels with aftermarket weapon systems grafted to their hull. The latter is most commonly seen in the hands of very junior privateers, who have scraped together enough capital for an improvised fighting vessel, but have not yet taken a prize themselves. It's this early stage of privateering that is by far the most deadly, with most would-be privateers simply making themselves easy victims of the pirates they set out to hunt. It has been argued in the Centran Parliament that the institution of privateering does as much to increase piracy in the cluster as it does to curtail it. As for every successful privateer who defeats numerous pirate vessels, there are always others who only succeed in handing additional armed spacecraft over to pirate groups by allowing their own vessels to be captured. Or worse still, rogue privateers, who deliberately abuse their letter of mark to intimidate innocent merchantmen, or turn fully to piracy themselves.